Welcome to Alley 55 Customs. Today I'm going to show you how to solder uh, some wires together. Uh, the best method that we use here at the shop. Um, basically what I like to use is a butt connector. These are solderless shrink insulated butt connectors um, with the uh, solder in the middle and it also has the shrink tubing on the outside great product highly recommend it so uh, this is really good that it, it you know if you're splicing together your wiring harness you're making cuts in the uh, um, in your wiring on your dash or anywhere else these, this is a great way to fix what you're doing so first off what we're going to do is um, you have this is the ultimate way to go is the uh, this is a paint stripper a thermal strip paint stripper it's called the heat gun uh, this works really good to melt the solder and to shrink the heat tubing um, the other option is is to go with this which is also a wonderful product this is the power probe um, it's a butane torch uh, it gets really hot and it is an amazing amazing piece of equipment um, a very versatile piece of equipment you can use it for all different applications um, but anyways and then you'll need a pair of wire strippers and then your butt connectors and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you basically how to strip a wire really quick so what you're going to do is just take your insulated wire you're going to go in and there's different settings you just want to find the right setting that you're going to be using on the size wire. You have 14 gauge, 16 gauge, um, and basically you just pull out the insulation. And you want to bury your wire. And so what we're going to do is, then the best way to do it is we're going to take one of the butt connectors. Um, this is like shrink, heat shrink, and that's a piece of heat shrink right there. And what we're going to do this whole thing is heat shrink solder is already built in right in the middle of it and so then what we're going to do is we're just going to spin the wires a little bit so it doesn't fray back on us when we put the uh, heat shrink on slide it down and then what you're going to do is you're going to take do the same on the other side you're going to take the two wires you're going to put them together and what you want to do is you want to make an X. You're going to wrap the one inward, spin it around. I find this is one of the best ways to connect a wire. This will not come undone. And then spin the other side around like this. <clears throat> and what it does is it makes a really super tight fitting right there. And then what you want to do is slide over the top dead center you want the uh, solder to be dead center of the wire and then basically now all we're going to do is shrink it so now with our heat gun I'm going to do the heat gun first turn it on high setting and then what we're going to do is we're going to start with the heat shrink and just see how it's starting to suck in the heat shrink is nice sucking in and you can work back and forth a little bit so it gets in there and now watch how the solder just starts to melt. There it goes. See how it's melting? And rotate a little bit. Get that solder. See, look at that. Now it's all done. So now the solder is all the way around your wires. It's fully connected. And you have a nice protective heat shrink on there. Okay, and that's the first way to do it. The second way to do it is just cut this wire. I'm going to use the uh, power probe uh, butane torch. Um, you can buy other torches also that are not, I think this is around $70, I think, um, if I remember is correct. Uh, once again, you want to you know spin your wires so when you uh, actually put the uh, heat shrink on there it does not bend back any of your wires or sometimes if you leave them open 
it pulls the wires back and it gets all caught up. You don't want that. You want a nice, crisp, clean look. Again, spin these wires. And then you want to take it again with the X. You want to rotate them around. One way this, one way this way, and then you want to go around the opposite way on this one. Just like so. Once again, nice tight fit. Slide this over the top until the solder hits the middle. Now on the butane torch, on the butane torch, uh, like again, wonderful product. I love this thing. I've been using this actually for the, probably the last four years. Um, you just take your butane, which you can buy that almost anywhere, uh, and this is how you fill it. You just actually add it in right there. Your butane gets put in through uh, the bottom of the torch. When you're ready to light it up, all you do is you turn this to the uh, unlock position. Turn your flame, basically you're going to turn your uh, gas on. Hit your flame. And there you go. And you can increase it or you can decrease it to a low, a low flame. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep it on the low flame because this really doesn't need a whole lot of heat to shrink this. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to walk it back and forth. And you got to be careful when you're using this because you do not want to burn. See how it's quick? It's super quick. You want to run it back and forth. And you do not want to burn the outside sheath of the um, wire because, you know, it's easy to catch this on fire, to burn it or whatever. So the easier way is to go with the uh, uh, heat uh, gun. Um, versus the butane torch, but I find myself jumping in and grabbing the butane torch because I, I just think it heats quicker. It's, uh, it seems like it gets in there really well. Um, I love this product. So, anyways, um, that is a that is a solid uh, connection. So, anytime you want to do any kind of electrical connections with um, your wiring harnesses, this is the way to go. I highly recommend it. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment on, on this video. Um, we will have many other videos in the near future. We're doing tons of vehicles on a weekly basis. So every time you come back to our videos, it'll be something new. Thank you so much.